What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is 6pm, it is Sunday. I saw that mini release there, I saw Yuri Tillemans in there, and um, yeah, it is uh, hopefully going to be a day of content for me, eh? never mind. Um, you know what yeah, like, they just love to give us good content, don't they? They're big fans of giving us the good content. Let's see you guys, let's go through the menus one by one and see what we get so nothing in objectives nothing in milestones i should should always probably check their last ocean night because sometimes it goes in there late in moments nothing in moments either and so just like that we are at sbc's we have got nothing in swaps obviously Nothing new in upgrades. Nothing new in icons. Nothing in advanced. Nothing in basic. And live contains. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, is that new dynamic duos? That's two new dynamic duos. I skipped past those. I thought it was the other ones. Hold on. Oh, is there three dynamic duos? Holy crap. We've got dynamic duos here. Oh, no, and Padu, uh, the, the Welsh boys were already there. Dynamic duos here. And these boys were already there as well. And so there is two new dynamic duos. I thought those were the other ones just on the time. Uh, this is Harit from Morocco. And El Yamik. 85 rated centre back. 85 rated squad. And an 84 rated squad. Oh, man. An 84 rated squad with an inform. Oh, for a what pack? For nothing. But for a player and then a gold players pack at the end. And then Ao Tanaka. An 83 rated squad. And then for Kamada. I don't, like we'll have a look at these guys on footbin, right? Because I can't see their in-game stats and stuff here. But I don't want to. I don't want to be like. I don't want. I just don't want to be this. I want to be like, God damn me, eh? That's so sick. I can't wait to complete these and play with them. But once again, we're expected to pay over the odds for cards that would be way cheaper as tradables on the market, for cards that are already way behind the power curve with no reasonable way to accumulate any kind of consistent fodder. And that's sad, man. And that's it. That, that is, is that it? That's it. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, right? If you're Moroccan or Japanese, you're loving it because there's a couple, couple players for your, uh, for your like, um, nation teams, right? Brilliant, right? I think Dynamic Duo is always good for that. Cheeky Gaylord Abbas. I think Dynamo Jew is always good for that. But once again, we are getting cards of the caliber that we were getting at the start of the game. And the mini release. Rodrigo Marti another, another Real Madrid player. God damn. Um, let's have a look. So new players. So we've got Martinez, Rodrigo, and Tillemans. First of all, how, how is it that EA have given Real Madrid three of these cards, man? That's mad. Um, Rodrigo's four-star, four-star. He did have a decent World Cup, to be fair. Um, they've given him 10 stam. Great pace. Really tidy dribbling on Rodrigo. Good stamina. I think a dead eye for me would be the... Uh, the the obvious chem choice gets his positioning, finishing, and shot power really, really good. Um, short passing and vision really tidy. Curve really tidy. He's got the flair trait. He's four star, four star. Um, I think that's a tidy card. To be fair, that's that's a, a quality little card. I'd be interested to see what his price settles at, but he, he's quite nice. We've got Yuri Tillemans, centre mid and CDM, four star, five star, of course. Um, a massive pace upgrade for him. Which is quite nice. And a massive defending upgrade for him as well. Which is quite nice. 
Chop power long shots are tidy. Passing is superb. Stamina and physicals otherwise are nice. Defending is pretty good because his interceptions, defense, awareness are decent. Slide tackle nobody cares about. Dribbling's all right. The agility and balance is a bit heavy. The four-star, five-star is quite nice. Um, I think if we go engine, if you need that dribbling, but then again, um, I don't know. I'd probably prefer an artist. Or you go for a shadow and just play him as a box to box mid. I do. I really do like his shooting and passing. It's really nice. That dribbling is like a bit meh in it. Like it's good here. It's all right here, and then it's really poor in agility. Maybe an anchor would be better for him. And it's the same with his pace. Like the acceleration and sprint speed is just poor for the current state of the game. The rest of the stats are quite nice, but I have a feeling he might be quite cheap. Um, and then Lissandro Martinez can play left back, centre back, left wing back and CDM. That's quite nice. Reasonable upgrades. Three star, three star. Medium high work rates. Pop a shadow on him. Good pace. Great defending. Very good physicals. Good passing. Great dribbling for a centre back. I would 100% play him centre back. 100% he'd be played centre back for me. Do you know what though? You could use him a left back. He's not quite as fast as you'd like to hope. And the three-star, three-star is a bit of a letdown. Um, but he's there. We've then got Harit, Eliamik, Tanaka, and Kamada. Kamada is centre forward and Cam 61k for the pair. Utter, utter, oh, no, wait. 61k for him? Oh, it's not even for the pair. Six, that can't be right. Kamada, three-star, four-star, medium, medium work rates. Bang average physicals. Average shooting. Awful pace split. Decent dribbling and decent passing. That is such... Now, it says 91 rated cam, right? But this is one of those times where it's like, no, medium, medium work rates, three-star skill moves. No traits or no traits that are, like, usable. His passing is brilliant. Yeah. His acceleration is brilliant. Agility and balance, dribbling are brilliant, but low reactions. Average shooting, average physical... Just not the one. Uh, Ayo Tanaka. 15,000 coins for him. Been given a monster upgrade. Three star, three star. No traits. Good agility and balance. Good stamina and aggression. Good defensive stats. Reasonable passing. I, I like him more. I think you pop a shadow on him and that's a reasonable card. Uh, agility and balance will help massively. Passing is pretty good as it is. As far as like a DM goes, it's not it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, we've then got Elia Meek coming in at almost one hundred thousand coins. I have a feeling these prices will settle down a little bit. Um, he's only been given two pace. How mad is that? Seven defending, seven physical, eight passing, nine shooting, seven dribbling, two star, three star, six foot four. That pace is quite tidy. Pop a shadow on him. Good physicals, not the best passing, terrible dribbling, terrible shooting, but who cares? Great pace and good defending. He's La Liga as well, so he's, I mean, he's all right, but you're just not going to use him, are you, really? And then Harrit, five star skill with three star weak foot, can play cam, center mid, left mid, and left wing, which is nice. Dribbling is nice, passing is nice, good stam. Um, his pace is alright I think an engine on him yeah good long passing great short passing good vision good crossing great agility and balance great dribbling 5 star skill moves is nice French league is nice Link, yeah links to Buffal which is nice yeah, he's not bad Harrit he's not bad he, he, Harrit would be one I'd be interested to test in game and I think Tanaka would be one I'd be interested to test in game so long as the prices come in at a reasonable price. Um, but this dynamic duos is coming in at 125k and this one at 50k. Like and this is what I mean, right? The, these guys would just be bottom feeder price on the market. They would literally be as cheap as they could be. Okay, so 10k for Tanaka, superb. Don't mind that. 40k for this Kamada is a joke, like an actual joke. Um, 
yeah, it's a joke. And then with these dynamic duos, is he? An, he's an 85 rated squad, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, that's... Is an 85 rated squad actually 90k? How much is an 85 rated player? It's, it's close. It's a little bit cheaper than that, but you need t like nine of those. So about 65k for those and a couple of 84s. It's about 70k. About 70k for that card when, it, when the price settles down. That is absurd. That is absurd. He, like, he wouldn't be... You, you can get Van Dyke, the most overpowered centre-back on the whole game, a 94k tradable. It's abs Like, these cards should all just be an 83-rated squad. That's it. That's all it should be, an 83-rated squad. Uh, because they would be fun to try out, fun to use, and fun to play with. But once again, because there's no reasonable way to accumulate fodder... Uh, you, you've got to be from that nation or a card collector or somebody who just doesn't care about their coins or whatever to, to pick up those players. It's crazy. It's crazy. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.